have to serve it out and would start the full set on his own serve. Third double fault, and it's set point. Oh. Well, it'll do nicely. After an hour and 46 minutes, leads by two sets to one. might that be the decisive moment in which Edberg took a giant stride towards the third round, the round of the last 32. Come back if he's going to come back, we'll have to battle the injury. His opponent, and about 18 or 19,000 people in here, willing Edberg on to one more win. Amazing for uh, a set one so conclusively by Edberg to have served so poorly. But again, it just emphasizes what I was saying about uh, Karlbacher's inability really to take advantage of the second serves. I think uh, throughout this match that's really been pretty important because I think uh, he might well have buried Edberg's hopes uh, a lot earlier on than uh, the uh, second set by perhaps being able to break through Edberg a few more times. And certainly Edberg now Time. is uh, a very, very different figure from the person who we saw start this match very hesitatingly, or hesitantly. No doubt that uh, he was troubled by uh, the first sort of visions under the lights, not really seeing the ball clearly, miss hitting straightforward shots but even that last rally when we saw the replay of it fourth fourth is now middling it so much more effectively and clearly and crisply. the start of the fourth set Edward leading by two sets to one Fifteen love. A fourth ace. First serve. Well, that's a tactic, I think, that's uh, won him many dividends. Going back across to the Carbacker forehand. It seems to me the Carback is generally expecting the opposition to go to his backhand side, so it's really wrong-footed. I think Carback is quitting. He is. It's all over. Well, that's very sad. But Carback doesn't feel able to continue. One or two in the crowd don't like that. Feeling their entertainment has been Mr. Carbacher will have to retire. Due cut to the short. Game set and match. Edberg. 
And it's always sad when a match ends like that. But Kalbacher feeling his cause was now hopeless. And Stefan Edberg is through to the third round in his last Grand Slam. 3-6-6-3, one love retired will be the official verdict. The time, an hour and 50 minutes. But uh, however the wins come for Stefan Edberg at this stage of his career, just so good for you to see him still in the tournament. It certainly is, and I think uh, really, bar, of course, Edberg folding, which, uh, let's face it, and I think it has to be pointed out, he's quite capable of doing. That's been his problem over the last few years that even when he's had the edge in a match, uh, he's not been able to fulfill that sort of lead or that promise. But it's always turns with sadness, particularly as somebody like Karbacher, who's uh, quite injury prone, uh, is a super guy, really, a man who came to tennis late, but has uh, had such rich rewards from the game. And, uh, of course, this is just when you don't want it to happen. But uh, Edberg was back on a fast track. He'd started slowly, he'd started as if he were not seeing the ball, not enjoying the lights. Karbacher was playing as if in a dream. And then things began to go wrong for Karbacher, and it coincided, of course, with Edberg forging, finding form, finding the middle of the racket, finding real crispness, and uh, in the end upstaging an injured Karbacher. But uh, the crowd may well be disappointed, but of course they're delighted that uh, Edberg has come through. And Stefan Edberg? goes on to play the Dutchman Paul Haarhaus that will be on Sunday when Britain's Tim Hemden will also play Todd dabei bin und ich werde natürlich am Ende des Jahres noch sehr viel glücklicher als jetzt das wäre der Unterschied ich hoffe ich kann noch ein Turnier gewinnen bevor das Jahr vorbei ist das ist eines meiner Ziele und sie bereiten sich jetzt auf das nächste Match genauso hundertprozentig vor wie immer oder lassen sie schon mal ein bisschen hin und wieder schleifen no i think uh, what has happened during uh also in dieser Woche hatte ich ja schon mal zwei Tage frei, da habe ich dann ein bisschen trainiert und auch ein bisschen Golf gespielt. Manchmal ist es gut, auch etwas Abstand zu bekommen. Gestern habe ich eine Stunde hier trainiert, aber auch meine Energie aufgespart für die Matches, denn das werden lange zwei Wochen und ich versuche mich eben auch ein bisschen zu entspannen und gleichzeitig hart zu arbeiten. Also wir genießen auf jeden Fall jeden Auftritt von Ihnen noch hundertprozentig und mit uns viele, viele Zuschauer. Sie haben viele Fans in Deutschland, das wissen Sie ja, sehr viel. Wir haben da immer wieder Anfragen bekommen, Grüßt, grüßen Sie den Stefan Edberg und wie lange macht er noch und und und, also viele Grüße aus Deutschland, danke fürs Kommen okay. und wie gesagt, wir, wir halten Sie ganz scharf im Auge, so liebe Zuschauer, es ist schon spät geworden, dann denke ich, machen wir kurz noch einen Hinweis, was Sie denn morgen, das heißt heute bei uns erwartet. Ab.